So Jan, good morning. How are you doing? I'm good. I'm good. Thank you so much. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing great as well. To start the interview, I'd like to go back to the story because when we looked at your Instagram profile, we saw a picture. I'd yeah. like to learn how your story started with volleyball. All my family was playing. Was since I was little, I went to the games of my of my parents, and I started like this. Actually, I never wanted to play because I liked football and I was playing for nine years. And then they forced me to go to one practice and yeah, that's how it ended up. <laughs> <laughs> and do you remember when the picture was taken or no? I think I would, I should be like five oh, yeah. normally. You were quite Four. young then. Yeah. yeah, very young. I'd like to ask like, when you first started playing, is there a player that you saw as an idol to yourself or do you see another player right now as an idol? I really liked Ricardinho when I was small, when I was little. And Rafael, I got to know when I played in Italy because he was still playing since last season. They were the two Brazilian setters I admired the most. Galatasaray is your first experience in Turkey. How did you make the decision to come here? It was actually very early. I think we started to talk in January. I could have stayed in Italy. I could have gone to Poland. But I decided to come here because I wanted to play for something more. Because in Italy it's very difficult to get titles. And also in, uh, in Plus Liga and here with Gazzarai I had the feeling that we, we can do something and we can reach something and so it was a conscious decision. And you have a sort of joyous and smile personality. How do you think it helps you fit into team well? I think it, it fits in well here because some Turkish players are not like this so it's something different. And I like what I do. I think I should be or a lot of players should be grateful of what we're doing and that we're able to do our sport as our job. Why shouldn't I smile if I enjoy what I'm doing? And who are your closest friends in the team who helped you the most during the adaptation process? I'm good with almost everyone. Burak tried to help me with some stuff in the beginning. I think also Beto and, and Ozzy. They were they were great in the beginning, but there was nobody in particular that helped me more. I just like the team and they're helping whenever I need something. That sounds like a great team to be in. Yeah. yeah. What would you like to say about the Galatasaray fans? They're demanding, for sure. And it's good. I like it because I want to win, they want to win. And that's just Galatasaray culture. But I like the support, uh, especially when we were playing outside. There are a lot of people coming, they're supporting and they're supporting us all the game. And I really like it and I appreciate it because you don't find it so much, especially when you're in a team playing outside because it's difficult to travel, I don't know, 800 kilometers and then have supporters. So that's what I really like here and I appreciate them coming from everywhere to everywhere. Uh, and it's really nice. I enjoy it. Turkish teams prefer their foreign player options in attacker positions or in other positions. Does it create any pressure on you to not be in that position? Since I left Germany, I was always in this position, so it didn't change anything for me. <laughs> so you don't feel any pressure? It's not new for I you? I had the same pressure like all the time, so... So this year in the Challenge Cup, you just matched against Monza and it's a previous team. How does it feel? I'm glad that like it's, you know, we're semi-finals of Challenge Cup. It doesn't matter if you play against Warsaw or Monza, they're the same level. But for me personally, for sure, it's nicer to play against them and uh, that I can show them again what we can do. And you never know. And do you have any predictions about how the game will go? I think they're a very good team. Also yesterday, okay, they lost 3-2, but they played very good. I think they are the favorites and that's a that's a nice role for us. We're the underdog. Everything we do is good. It's nicer to not be the favorite, let's say, like this. And then we will see. Everything is possible. Yeah, because you don't have that pressure on your shoulders and you can fight even harder and go with your 110%, right? Yeah, I think they know that they have to win. Yeah, yeah exactly. It's better for us. Fingers crossed for your team, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> you have all our support. And this year, in as usual, the Turkish league has really tough competition in the top four position. How do you see your chance in being in that top four position? I think we showed in the first half that we can go there and we played hard to be a fourth team. Now we, we were struggling the first two matches a little bit. We didn't have a good game against Arkas the last game. We lost unfortunately 3-2 against Akush, but everything is open. The championship is long. As we saw, we could have also won against Sirat. You never know. But uh, I think our chances are still good. We have more points than the fourth. Now we focus game by game. Okay, I want to go back to this summer in the Olympic uh, qualifications. How did it go? What happened for you? And because you found yourself in the tournament all of a sudden, and how did it go? Yeah, it was not uh, predicted that I that I go there. I just got a call that there was some injury and if I could join. And this national team is like my family. Um, I've been there for 10 years and I would never let them down. So I went there. Uh, I arrived during the third game and everything went well yeah <laughs> and, since then. and you got the olympic games <laughs> ticket to yeah, paris get... like how does it feel to get that ticket because i believe you were also the underdog in terms of olympic qualification right yeah for sure like the favorites were still uh, italy and brazil for us it was an amazing tournament we played very well and i'm so happy i'm so glad that we made it because it's for sure one dream coming through now the goal is just to go there and then we'll see what happens next yeah and what are the goals for this summary for the olympics and for the paris i think our focus is for sure in the olympics 
Olympics, the VNL, we will try to prepare as good as possible. Let's first prepare good and then, you know, it's a tournament, everything can happen. And there's another uh, fellow German player, Georg Groser. Did I pronounce that right? Yeah. Okay, in the Turkish Men's League, FLR Ligi. Do you have any connection with him? Do you talk to him in Istanbul? Ah, yeah, I, I know him since more than 12 years. We are very good friends, we have a lot of contact. So yeah, I talk to him. They, when they came here, they were in a difficult moment and now since our game, they're playing good and he was playing good, I think, all the season. We're tight friends and I think I will see him also when we go to Arkas. And also, we know that you're close friends with uh, Mr. Tibor Polaris and <laughs> Kimberly Dervniuk. What are your favorite activities doing with them in Istanbul? I believe Kimberly left uh, a bit yeah, a while ago. Do you go to each other's games with uh, Tibor? Yeah, yeah, we do, we do. I just, last week, uh, I brought him a game shirt. We're seeing each other quite a lot because we're very close friends. It's helping to adapt here and he's showing me like a lot of nice places here in Istanbul because he's here now for I don't know six years. He's a local now. <laughs> yeah, he's almost a local, not speaking Turkish still. <laughs> we hang out a lot. He shows me a lot of nice places and we mostly go somewhere to eat after and we enjoy our free time. How is your relationship with social media? Because your friends from national team has lots of popular TikTok videos and you have a podcast series. Like, uh, is there is that some sort of a relaxing way for you, like to chill out, uh, like off the pitch, off the court? I like to show who I am off the pitch or off the court, um, as you said. I think it's important to also be authentic outside the court, and I want to show the people who I am um, in a certain way because I keep it quite professional. And my podcast, you know, actually, it is one of my best friends, and it's easier for us to catch up and have an appointment to hear each other every two weeks. And we're just talking about life. My life is a little bit more about volleyball. He's like producing streams and he's like a regional, let's say, journalist. So yeah, we're good friends and he's also probably coming here soon. Uh, what are your favorite activities to do in your off days in Istanbul? And what is your favorite Turkish food so far? I like to see the city. I like to understand where I'm living, what my culture is. My favorite Turkish food that's difficult, but I think it's Katmer. And what about the traffic? Do you enjoy Istanbul traffic as well? I hate <laughs> Istanbul traffic. <laughs> it's insane sometimes, yeah, really. But it's also so big, so it makes things difficult. Yeah, and also you need to cross the bridge, like go from Asian side to European yeah, side as well. Yeah, for sure. But yeah. I actually, I stay more on the Asian side, I like it here. In Istanbul, what are your favorite places to go to, like to do your activities, like eat stuff? It can be a restaurant or it can be another type of place as well. There's one very nice restaurant close to Galata Tower, Galata Port in this area. I cannot say the name because I can't even pronounce it. There's a place where we where we went several times. It's, it's very nice Turkish food. But the areas I am more in Moda, Kadikoy, uh, Chade Bostan, like in this area, I'm a lot. And I'm just trying to figure out some new places, some cafe spots. My last question for the interview. Who are your favorite players to watch in, both in men's side and a woman's side? Oh, my favorite players to watch. At this moment? Yes. I think I really like uh, Micah Christensen. I like him to watch because he's just, I think, top three at the moment, setters. I'm just focusing, focusing obviously on setters. And I like also Dicheco, he's a very good setter and he's just particularly, he's doing things that nobody else is doing. I think those two are the main male players. I like to support my friends, so people I know. I don't care so much about who the person is. Like also with Tibor. I sometimes I don't understand anything about basketball. <laughs> He's trying to explain me some stuff, but I try to support my friends and people I know. Here in Istanbul, who do I know? I know Yolis Stevanovic, I, I know Magda Stiziak, and I knew Kimi. I was supporting them the most because I know them the best. Ah, and Edina Begic, obviously. So that were, were the players I, I know the most, and that's why I was supporting them the most, and I like to watch them because I have personal relationship to them. This is all for the interview, but I have one more question to ask. Do you learn, do you speak any Turkish words? Evet, evet. Evet. <gülüyor> okay, uh, danke schön for the interview. Teşekkürler. Teşekkürler, sure. Günaydın, for sure. Yeah. Teşekkürler for the interview. Teşekkürler. <gülüyor>